it's Deb here with Country Craft Creations and Creative Life. <laughs> and today we are going to make an, be making a card and um, attempt an envelope. So this is the this is the envelope. Okay, it is a long envelope, um, but the card that fits in it is like a three. Uh, triple easel card so it stands up like this so when you pull it out this is how it is supposed to go <laughs> so, <laughs> of course um, yeah it's not doing that right now so um, okay so yeah it's just because it was folded in there for so long so um, that's how it's supposed to stand up just like that okay and um, this is made with the beautiful um, authentic um, Easter paper um, oh let's see oh Jubilee Jubilee so it's Jubilee paper line and um, so anyway this is the card that we're going to be doing today so when you get done um, we will be making a um, an envelope for you to put your card in so when your card lays down it lays like this okay and then you can go ahead and put your card in here just like that and then your little flap you'll put um, is added because this is made by from a 12 by 12 but um, because of the size we have to add on a piece of a 4x4 cardstock inside in order for it to close all the way so um, anyway just wanted to let you guys know that um, depending on how many how much embellishments you put on this depends on how thick your envelope needs to be okay so if you put on a lot of em uh, embellishments then you may need to widen your um, envelope um, so okay so anyway so this is what we're going to be do working on today with the sun-kissed paper so uh, this is going to be our second craftology box um, thing that we're going to be making and so I'm going to be using uh, the authentic for the base of our card we're going to be using authentic um, the wood connection um, paper line and um, so for this part you will need a 12 by 12 piece of paper okay and you will only need one 12 by 12 piece of paper for this uh, for and like I said for your envelope that's gonna be totally different so um, that's that's something different so we're going to go ahead and cut our first um, measurement is going to be at four by eight okay so it's going to be four by eight so you're going to go ahead and cut it and I kind of measured it this way it's however you want to measure it um, so you'll just do four this is four by eight down here okay and so I'm going to lay it this away and see, oh, let's see this way so I can make sure I'm at eight right here and then there we go I just need to cut that little piece right there so I need to flip it over sorry this way and finish cutting it a little bit okay so so this is my four by eight okay the next one that you're gonna need we're gonna need three different pieces so the next one you're gonna need is you're going to need a um, piece that is six by three so um, then so to do that let's see I need to measure a six by three piece of paper so I'm gonna turn it this way now okay and I'm gonna do three here down to my six on my cutter okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it um, I'm gonna turn it whoops I'm gonna turn it this way and there's the six right there 
and I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So that's my three by six, okay, or six by three. And then I'm going to need one that is um, four by two, okay. So that's the next one that I need. So on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and again, I'm going to turn my paper this way. I'm going to go ahead and score this here at two, two inches here. And should be four, just about four. It is four. So it's four right there. So, and those are going to be our three little pieces, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our scoreboard, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, oh, there's my little thing. Okay, so on the, the big piece that is a four by eight, we're going to go ahead and you're going to score it at two inches, and then at four. Okay. And then at this point, this is where you're going to decide like what, which side you want um, your design to show. So if you're using a um, two pa pattern, you know, uh, pattern paper that has a pattern on the front and on the back, then you'll just need to decide which one you want. And I think for mine, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this little checkered pattern. And so my card will stand up like this. So this is going to be your first, your large base. Okay, so it's, it'll stand like that. Okay, and then your, thir your second um, base is going to be scored at one and a half and at three. So we're going to score it at one and a half and then at three. Okay, and you're going to go ahead and burnish that down, just like that, okay, just like that, and again, I'm going to go ahead and that will be setting up just like that, okay, and then on the last one, you're going to go ahead and score your uh, two by four uh, piece at one inch and then at two inch. Okay, and that is going to be burnished down just like this. And this is our going to be our little tiny one. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, just like that. So, um, so then the next pieces that you're going to need, again, you'll need your scoreboard. I think we're pretty much done with our. Um, our scoreboard, you'll just need your trimmer. <clears throat> so, um, so the next part we need to decide is um, what you want for your um, pieces. Let's see here. And I'm going to scoot this back just a bit. Let's see here. Just like that. And let's get that in there. Okay. Sorry, my camera was kind of wonky for me, so I don't know if it showed it on there or not. So for this part, um, you're just going to pick um, a piece of paper that you want to be on your card. So, okay, so for instance, you'll need um, some squares, unless you want to use a, um, a like um, decorative die or you want a circle or you can cut these into whatever you want you don't have to do a square you could do whatever design you want on your um, your bait on your mat okay so um, but for this um, I'm just gonna do squares so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that and I think for my my um, base I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with um, this right here so this part so I'm gonna go ahead and cut so I'm gonna cut this off first okay so I'm gonna cut this part off first and then um, what you're gonna do 
is we're going to go ahead and measure how uh, what size we need. So I think on these ones I did like a um, quarter of an inch. Let's see here. So for the first one, you're going to need um, four and for the first one, we're going to do four and a quarter by four. So for this one here, which is your large one, you're going to do a four and a quarter by four. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be for our large one. Oops, sorry. Yep, okay, I did mine wrong. So four. So mine will end up being a four by four. So if you wanted to do just make it simple and do a four by four, you could do that. So mine will be four by four, okay? And I think that's what I'll do on these, is I'll go ahead and just do them four by four. And then, so that'll be a four by four. And then this one, since this one is our three inch, this will be a three by three. So we'll do a three by three on this one. So I'm gonna do three here. And then I'm gonna do a three here. Okay. So that will be a three by three right there. Okay. And then for our small one, I think it's a two inch. I believe. So we'll do a two by two on this one. So on this one we'll do two by two. So two and I kind of like, let's see here. I think I kind of want those flowers to show so I'm going to do this here or let me see here. See if it'll be two by two like this. Nope, that'll be too short. So two. My paper keeps moving. Two by two. So, okay. So two by two here. So that will show like that. So it'll fit on there just like that. Okay, and these are going to be your mats, okay? And so um, now they can be your mat. Now, if you're going to, if you want to, you can just add, um, you know, you can cut, you know, you can go ahead and fussy cut out things and put them on top of those or whatever you want. Um, like, I'm going to go ahead and um, I might fussy cut out some of these little turtles. They're so stinking cute. And then... Um, I might go ahead and fussy cut out some other stuff and then I'm going to go ahead and also use um, some of these little kids on here that are so cute. And then I will be using probably one of the stickers from here and um, I thought this would be so cute. Life, <laughs> Life's a beach and so I like that. <laughs> so. Um, and then you are my sunshine. I thought that would that was really cute. So um, I might go ahead and use that. And uh, so yeah. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead. <clears throat> and then for this little one here, I really like this. And so I thought this might be my one that I put up here. Um, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut around the square here and then kind of like fussy cut this part out and then um, put that up there just like that so she'll stick out just a bit the sun kissed will stick out on top and then um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so um, right now if you want to ink your edges you are more than welcome to I'm I'm not gonna ink my edges um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut this this out here okay and there's my scissors actually going to that here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my um, cutting board and I'm gonna cut
Okay, so now what you can do is if you want to, you can go ahead and um, either put another um, mat on top of this, okay, if you choose to, or you can go ahead and just go ahead and mat your card or lay your card down just like this. Now, um, how I did mine is I went ahead and just, um, I just went ahead and glued, oops, and I need to do my glue here. One second. So right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and push that down just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and burnish that in. Just like that. Oop, I think my note's a little crooked. Uh. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So I'm just going to burnish that in just like that. And then, um, so that'll be your one, that's your one card right there, okay? That's going to stand up like that. Then you're going to go ahead and do your second one. Okay, just like this. Okay. And... And that will be behind that one, just like that. Okay. And then this one, we'll go ahead and do as well. Okay, so that's how your card is going to end up, just like that, with those three right in the row, just like that. And then this, for I'm going to go ahead and put this here. So this one will stick up just a bit. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put the glue like right through here, all the way down. Edges. And I'm just going to set her just like that. Right in the center. Okay. So she's not quite all the way to the bottom. But, um... just like that okay so she's just like that okay and then this one here I'm gonna go ahead and put um, uh, let's see here what I wanted to put here um, I was gonna put life's a beach I don't know if that'll fit on there so we'll see yeah it'll fit so I'm going to stick mine like this, okay, and I'm actually going to put this on this.
and then I'm going to put some other little, I think I might go ahead and cut out some of these little kids on here. They're so stinking cute. So I'm going to cut out some of these little guys here. Or actually, you know what? I think I'll just use a sticker. I think... I think I'll just use this sticker right here and put it right there. I think though I want to lift this up so I am going to use some um, foam tape on this. So let me grab my foam tape here. And then, so there's our little card there. That's done. Okay. Now we just have our little teeny tiny card to do. So on this one, we will just need to, um, I wanted to put, um, you are my sunshine. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Okay, and I am going to do a border on this one, um, but I think I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a white border, so it kind of shows up a little bit better. So I'm going to put it on.
is like right here. So I'm just going to leave a little border on the bottom part here, just like that, so it'll catch just like this, hopefully. So I just need to burnish this down some more here, okay, just like that, so it'll stick up just like that. Okay, so then to put together our little um, card, what you will need is you will need, um, and I was going to put, uh, Fussy cut out some little turtles and put a turtle here, and maybe a little turtle here and here, um, but to put this together real quick, okay, I want to go ahead and show you guys, um, you will need to put your card together, okay, you'll set it up just like this, like a regular um, easel card would set up, so, okay, then you'll get your second card, okay, that we just did, I'm going to burnish this down some, okay, and you're going to set that just like that, okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to go ahead and glue half of this right here. Okay, now you can mark it, okay, you can mark it if you want, but I just go, I just went ahead and did like half of my um, card back here. I just went like this. So, okay, and then I went ahead and I laid this down grabbed my card and stuck it on the back like that. And like I said, you can mark it if you want. There's a way, you know, you can just flip it over like I'm doing. And you can um, take a pencil and just mark it and then stick your card on there. Okay, just like that. Okay, so then you have your two pieces together. Okay, so and I'm just going to do that. And then do that. Okay, and then this will, when it flips open, it will catch on that, this one here. Okay, so then on this side, you're going to do the same thing with this one. You're going to go ahead and put, you're going to go ahead and lay it down like this, okay? And what I did is, like I said, this is the way you can do it if you wanted to do it. You could mark it with your pencil and you'll just get your pencil and just mark it right there. So you know that below this line you need to put your glue, okay? Okay, then you'll grab your card, okay, and you're going to go ahead and put your card, now it's up to you, let's see, now it's not working, okay, oh, there it goes, okay. <laughs> you're going to grab your card, and you're just going to set that right in the middle, just like that, okay, and I just set mine right in the middle part. So you'll have one here, one here, and one in the middle, all the way down. Kind of like a cake. <laughs> That's what I kind of look like to me. <laughs> so just like that. And that's how you're going to put your card together. And then this part will flip open like that. And that's how your card is going to sit. Okay? Just like that. Okay, and now, um, and then, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and add some little sea turtles and stuff, and then we will go ahead and um, I will um, uh, go ahead and show you, I'm going to fast forward, and then I'll show you the envelope.
So that's how, um, that's what we're going to do here. Now it's up to you if you want to go ahead and put um, mats down on these if you want to. I, I didn't on mine. Um, I just left them like this. And, um, and then you still have space to write or on the back you have space to write um, a little message here or stamp whatever you you know happy birthday or you know thinking of you whatever you would like and then um, okay guys I'm back so um, to make the envelope what we need is you'll need a 12 by 12 piece of paper and then a 4 and 1 8 by 4 and 1 8 little square okay and then you're going to need to cut your paper um, to nine and a half so your 12 by 12 paper it needs to be at nine and a half okay okay and then um, You'll need your scoreboard and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and score um, the, where you're going to lay your paper at the nine and a half um, length okay and you're going to go ahead and score at nine okay I'm kind of doing this a little backwards but um, then you're going to score here on this side at half an inch Okay, and then you're going to turn your paper to the 12 inch side and you're going to score at a half inch again. Okay, all right, so then um, you're going to turn your paper back to the nine and a half inch side. Sorry, we forgot to score, <laughs> I forgot to have you guys score. Um, you're going to score at five and four and five eighths. So there's right there. And then you're going to score at five. Okay. And, um, and then uh, you're going to go ahead and burnish these in. Okay. So you're just going to fold this up just like this here. And then fold this in here. Okay, get here. Okay. And then you're going to score, or you're going to go ahead and burnish the two lines that are in the middle. And these two lines are where um, your envelope is going to um, kind of, it's going to, um, compensate for um, the embellishments like if you have any embellishments on your um, in your card that you did and you're going to be able to um, have that room in there so your embellishments have a little bit of room to you know um, so they don't get flat flattened okay um, if you have a lot more um, embellishments on your card and um, you you may need to go ahead and um, make your your envelope thicker okay so once we're done uh, burnishing all of this um, you're gonna go ahead and take let's go ahead and score this now you're gonna take your four in uh, four and an eighth and four and an eighth uh, little square okay and we're gonna go ahead and score this at one inch okay so you're gonna score it at one inch and then you're gonna score it again at a one and a half inch so just like that okay and then you can go ahead and burnish that in if you want okay that all right and that is going to be your lid your closure okay okay so then we can go ahead and we can cut out this part here 
So you're going to go ahead and get rid of this part. We don't need that. So you can just cut on either side of the score lines, okay? And bend that backwards or whatever. And you're just going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and you can cut this one off here. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fold these, okay, in, and you're going to go ahead and glue. So, oh, this little tab here, you're going to cut, sorry. You're going to go ahead and cut it right, or it doesn't really matter where you cut it, I guess. I'll cut it right here. Alright, and then you're going to go ahead and fold this in like this. So you're going to go ahead and glue that one together right there. Okay, just like that. Okay, so you have your little tab closure right there. And then you're going to bring this in, and this is going to go folding on the inside of that. Okay, so when you fold it inside, you're going to have a really nice um, closure, okay? So, what I did is I just went ahead and put my glue all on the inside of my envelope, like right here, right on where I scored the half inches, so right there. So that's how I did mine, okay? And I just went ahead and put those two little envelope pieces together there. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and score or uh, put these two together just like this. You can lay that up just like that. And just go ahead and burnish that down. Now if you need to, you could stick your you know, a pencil, or if you have a little stick, whatever you have in there to help kind of glue that down in there. Okay, so it'll catch. Um, not you can go ahead and put some glue here on the edge. Just right along the edge here. And that will help catch it, hopefully. <laughs> uh, that's what I, I had to do that too. So, um, you know, you can also put your ruler inside there if you wanted to. So that would help. So you can just scoot your ruler all the way down in there. And just kind of lift it up, press down with your hand, okay, just like that. So there's your envelope. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and stick this part, because we scored right here, okay, this is what you're going to glue on the inside of your envelope, okay. So it's it'll sit like this, okay? So we're going to glue that down right in through there, okay? Now, um, once we glue that, you can leave this. You can, you can either do one of two things. You can either go ahead and um, do a um, corner punch on your corners, okay? So just like this. Okay, just to kind of make it look nice and finished. Okay, or you can do what I did on this one. And what I did on this one was I just, I brought 
my two corners together because see how mine is different here okay what I did was I just brought my two corners together like this and I went ahead and just cut it at an angle so um, but it's completely up to you on how you want to do your um, envelope um, I'm going to go ahead and leave mine this way for this one and I'm just going to go ahead and set it just like this and glue that in there so your glue like I said will go right on the back side of that where we scored okay so that's gonna fit right in there just like that okay and you can lay it down open it up get your ruler or you know whatever you have and just go ahead and burnish that down okay and then for a closure um, I went ahead and used my score tape okay so I just grabbed my score tape and I just put it right on the edge and I usually do two strips of score tape so just like that and then again I just burnish that down just like that just like that and that's gonna close my envelope okay now you can go ahead and you can um, you can put you know paper your your envelope to match your card um, or you know whatever you want to do or you could even use pattern paper if you wanted to do that that's completely up to you and then your card is just going to go ahead and it's going to slide right down in there just like that now I did leave there is a, about another um, half inch maybe in there from the from your card to the top of your envelope and I did that so if you have pieces that are sticking out you know or come up a little bit higher there's that room that you have in there for you know uh, for that so just so you know um, and then you just go ahead and close your card and you're done so um, so I hope that you like this project um, I hope you give it a try and um, and you you know make the envelope and you go ahead and um, try out the card because it's super super cute and um, I really had fun making these two cards are so stinking cute and um, really really had a good time with this so thank you so much and you guys have a nice night <laughs> bye